the English brand. Nothing released the Phone 2A cheaper than the Nothing Phone 2 and more powerful than the Nothing Phone 1. Priced at 349 euros for the 8, 1 to 28 version and 399 euros for the 12, 256 version, the Nothing Phone 2A enhances glyph interface accessibility. You see it comes in black but also in white. I'm going to introduce you to the Nothing Phone 2A. But beyond that, we're going to talk with the teams. We'll meet Carl Pei, the CEO and one of the co-founders of Nothing, and we'll also meet the head of design. But first things first, let's start by unboxing it. At Nothing, there's always a unique experience. You can unbox it just once, because once you've pulled the tab and finished, it's open, and it's open forever. I'm a real fan of the brand in terms of design, the overall experience, and Nothing OS. I don't know if you'll fully appreciate it, but there's a tactile sensation with a texture that's pleasant. You can sense the glyph interface, you open it, find a little note on the side, pull the tab, the smartphone emerges, and then all you have to do is open it for it to arrive in your hand. Here's the Nothing Phone 2A. All right, shall we go? Are you ready? Let's go, it's really cold out. Is it recording? Nothing is the brand set on revolutionizing Android smartphones, eager to shake things up due to finding the current state dull. A motorcycle is behind me. Nothing is the brand that aims to shake up Android, offering fresher smartphones and cooler earbuds to make the smartphone world sexier. Today, let's head to London. We're off to Nothing's HQ to uncover what sets their smartphones apart. Are they truly unique and intriguing? In essence, we're delving into Nothing's Before world. Before we delve deeper into the world of Nothing, let's start by taking a closer look at the Nothing Phone 2A. The first thing to know is that it attracts a lot of dust. I will utilize a small cloth to wipe down the device and the lens. Unlike the Nothing Phone 2 or Nothing Phone 1, the glyph interface is exclusively located on the top. Priced at 349 euros, Nothing had to make deliberate choices regarding its placement. Nonetheless, having it positioned on the top for camera, volume control, timer, ringtones and various applications is quite fascinating. We find all of Nothing's DNA in the Nothing Phone 2A, which is interesting. The NFC sensor is located around the camera module. From a design perspective, it resembles a snake with two eyes in the center, the body at the bottom and its head, reminding me of a cobra. Quite peculiar, don't you think? By the way, share your observations in the comments. With Nothing's signature transparency, the components are fully exposed, reflecting the brand's essence. The Nothing Phone 2A impresses me with its tactile feel, despite being slightly thick, which doesn't bother me. Priced at 349 euros, the polycarbonate back is standard. The integrated module protrudes, yet seamlessly blends with the rest of the phone, ensuring a cohesive design. Okay, and I just uh, look at you? Yeah, it's, it's a discussion. Okay. How can you describe uh, nothing in three words for a child? For example, my, my child is uh, 10 years old. How can you explain nothing in only three words? Three words, it's yep. hard to pick. Uh, <laughs> I know. <laughs> make tech fun again. Make tech fun again. Presented is a mood board that encapsulates the design realm of nothing, featuring VHS tapes. It's evident that they draw inspiration from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Below, you'll find a Sony Walkman, Game Boy, and Game Boy Color emphasizing the transparent element. This is the world where nothing evolves. I see a lot of inspiration there. Sony Walkman, Apple products. What are your personal inspirations? The inspiration is more like a feeling from a time when tech was more optimistic. When I was younger and got exposed to all these products, it just felt like every new product is really a game changer. And because we keep making better and better products, better and better tech, that the future will also be like that. But then it stopped. This is why I'm more inspired by this feeling like, of optimism. I think these products represent a time when we were more optimistic about the future. Come check this out. We have the initial sketches of the Nothing phones, including the Nothing Phone 1 and 2. It's truly fascinating. How do you design a smartphone from a blank sheet? Can, can you show me? <coughs> I have a blank sheet. I have a pen. How do, you, <laughs> how, do, how do you work? I mean, I guess, you know, we would start off um, we've got to pick the um, display. Yeah. So maybe we've got a few displays to, to choose from, a few different sizes, right? Each of these will have a different radius in the corner. We've got to start thinking then how thick are these going to be in order to fit all the hardware in. Okay. So there's a thickness there. Um, we need a battery. Yeah. We need a PCB. We need a camera module. Mm. 
we need some um, FPCs to send the signal down. We need some connectors, some buttons. You just start like this, <clears throat> and you just start thinking, how can you rearrange these things? How close do the cameras have to be together? Um, how um, do we have two cameras? Do we have one? Do we have three? And you just keep working your way from there, really. You start with very rough prototypes and models, and then you build up the fidelity as you go. <laughs>
austere and harder to navigate, which could be the only downside. At the top, everything is well structured, making it easy to rearrange and slide your blocks. It's super simple. We can add more if necessary. Mm -hmm. uh, above all, readability is crucial to me. Another key feature is the widgets available here. Click on widget. Currently, there are 24 widgets from nothing. In the preview, there's the weather, the cool camera, battery, compass, recorder, and clock. I particularly enjoy the recorder. I find it very beautiful. Media player, weather, nothing X, where you can find your nothing buds, quick settings, camera, pedometer, and screen time. And then you have lots of other widgets that will match what's installed on your smartphone. Now let's go into the settings. In the settings, we'll find the Glyph interface. This is where Nothing OS meets the Glyph interface that you have on the back of your smartphone as you'll be able to configure it here. You'll have different ringtones selected here. So there's that. Check this out, I love it with the Glyph interface. It's super cool. It vibrates and plays sound simultaneously. You can create ringtones with the Glyph Composer using your music library. Choose from Fantasy, FM, Sanfa, Weevil, Modem, Swedish House Mafia, 606, Brr, Dan. Let's go with Brr. I close this, find buttons, press them. Each key gives a different effect. Personally, I love it. You also have the Glyph Timer, the Glyph Progress, which lets you track your order if you're using Uber or your schedule details. There's also the Zomato app available. Music visualization syncs with your tunes on the Glyph interface. Set a bedtime schedule for the Glyph lights to turn off at a preset time, avoiding disturbances at night. Widgets can be added to your home screen. This feature is well designed, clever, attractive, and aesthetic, narrating a story, a key strength of the Nothing phone. <laughs> Nothing is a brand that stands out, making choices that are a bit different from the rest. I encourage you to check out this video where I chat with Akis, one of the co-founders of Nothing, who reveals a lot to us. Upcoming products, tons of tips, and loads of super interesting anecdotes. You'll learn even more about Nothing. You really should watch this video. It's incredibly interesting.